for our weather now. We have Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson joining us. We saw the beautiful weather today. Tomorrow it's going to be a different story. We're actually going to be seeing some storms out there. Yeah, especially tomorrow night into early the pre-dawn hours on Wednesday, I think is when we're most concerned it would be around here. There could be a little rumble. It could be a few rumbles of thunder even much yeah. later tonight towards daybreak in the morning, but I'm not really worried about anything tonight or during the day tomorrow. It really will be around this time tomorrow night when things could get quite active. So wild swings, I think the appropriate headline because we're talking the chance for a few storms in the morning and then the bigger chance, more concerning threat this time tomorrow night and temperature wise. Well, we'll probably get close to 70 again tomorrow. Today we were in the low 70s at 71, only two degrees off from a record high. We're going to see temperatures go from 70s to teens for lows by Wednesday night, Thursday morning. So quite the roller coaster ride here. So it should be no surprise. We're facing the risk for severe weather tomorrow night into early Wednesday morning. Marginal risk in place right now. Almost certain that we'll see this upgraded to at least a slight risk because I think we'll have all modes of severe weather possible tomorrow. Primary, primarily a damaging wind concern. Uh, there's going to be very strong winds over 100 mile an hour winds if you go up a thousand feet or so in the atmosphere. So any storms that develop will be able to tap those very strong winds and then bring them down to the ground most likely. In addition, there should be enough turning in the atmosphere for a tornado threat. So here's future cast. Here's the spotty downpours that are likely to develop before sunrise in the morning. This is a warm front begins to work its way across the area. These can be a little noisy at times through the morning, but they shouldn't be really severe. Maybe some small hail in some of the heavier downpours. After mid morning, I think it's pretty quiet most of the day. No problems out there, likely to even get a few breaks and the cloud cover across the area. But then here's what happens. Notice after 10 tomorrow night as we approach midnight, this is a little concerning because you don't ever want to see discrete storms develop ahead of a main line, and that's the potential there tomorrow night. And then with the main line of storms coming through before the sun comes up. So it will be interesting to watch how this evolves. But what this all says to me is that we have an overnight threat for severe storms. Damaging winds and tornadoes will be possible until about sunrise on Wednesday, and then temperatures will come crashing down, and that will end any threat for severe weather for us. So we're still at 60 tonight. Again, it is late February out there. Temperatures aren't going to fall much tonight. We'll probably drop five or six degrees, but we're only going to stay in the 50s overnight, so it's going to be quite mild through the night. And again, 3, 4 a.m., the chance for some hit and miss downpours through the early part of your morning. 52 is where we'll wind up by morning tomorrow. Still close to 70 with a greater threat for severe weather coming in here at night. I think it's pretty quiet midday into the evening hours for us tomorrow. Very mild. You'll probably feel like the weather is cooking something up out there. Here's your seven day forecast. All right, our 66 that is at midnight tomorrow night because during the day on Wednesday, temperatures will be dropping through the 30s and again all the way down to 19 by Thursday morning, 44 on Thursday, and then a shower threat in here on Friday. And then I think Chris will do it all over again. Another big swing upwards only to be met with probably more strong to severe storm chances early next week.